Hey there, this is MathCamp321, giving you the solution to the Park Algebra 2 practice test from school year 2014-2015. This is question number seven, and it's a two-part question. And what's interesting about this particular two-part question is that the answer to A is required to get the answer correct for part B. So it's a little bit interesting. It asks us to consider the equation x squared plus 2xy plus y squared times x plus y equals 64. And the part A says, what is the value of x plus y? Um, so my first reaction to this problem is to focus on the trinomial off to the left. I feel like I can factor that. And in fact, I can. And it factors as x plus y quantity squared. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. So I've got the x plus y quantity squared, which is the factored form of the trinomial that I've highlighted, times the x plus y, which is already there, equals 64. Now, I've got chunk squared times chunk to the first. And when we're multiplying powers of the same base, we can retain the base and add the exponents. For example, if I saw x to the third times x to the fourth, I could simply write this as x to the seventh. So instead of having an x, I actually have a, a, this chunk, x plus y. So this is going to be x plus y to the third equals 64. And what I can do now is take the cube root of both sides to isolate the x plus y. Now when I take the cube root of a chunk cubed, I'm left with just chunk because the cube root and cube operations undo each other, they're inverses, so I'm left with just x plus y, and the cube root of 64 is just 4. And this is what they want in question part a, 7a, they just, what is x plus y? So x plus y is equal to 4, and this is multiple choice, and it's one of the answer choices, so that's going to be choice b. Now I'm going to use this answer in doing the second part of the question, which is part b, if z is greater than 0, and z to the x times z to the y is equal to 81, what is the value of z? Well, again, focusing on the left-hand side here, this looks a lot like what I just did over here on the upper right in dark blue. I'm multiplying powers of the same base. And when you're multiplying powers of the same base, you retain the base and add the exponents. So this turns into z raised to the power x plus y. Now, Right now there's a lot of variables going on and it's, it seems like it's unsolvable, but if I use the answer from part A, realizing that x plus y is 4, I can substitute that 4 in for x plus y. So this turns into z to the power of 4 is equal to 81. And now what I can do is I could take the fourth root of both sides. And taking the fourth root of something raised to the fourth, that undoes itself, so I'm left with just z over here on the left. And technically, because I'm taking an even root, I'm left with plus or minus 3. The fourth root of 81 is 3. But the question stipulates that we're only supposed to consider when z is greater than 0. So right here it says z is greater than 0, which means I'm only going to look at one of these answers, and the answer is going to be z equals positive 3. That's the only answer that meets the initial condition.